In this example, I need to find all solutions of the equation the tangent of theta equals 4 fifths in the interval 0 to 360 degrees. I also need to round the answers to the nearest tenth of a degree. Well, looking at the value of the tangent of theta, it's 4 fifths. This is not a value on the unit circle, so this tells me I'm going to need to use my calculator. And to solve this equation, I need to get theta by itself. So I'm going to have to take the inverse tangent function or the arc tangent function of both sides of the equation. So I get the inverse tangent of the tangent of theta equals the inverse tangent function of 4 fifths. Well, on the left-hand side, these two functions undo each other, so I get theta equals the inverse tangent of 4 fifths. Now remember, the tangent of theta equals 4 fifths is an equation with an infinite number of solutions. I only need those between 0 and 360 degrees. But this equation, theta equals the inverse tangent of 4 fifths, by definition only has one solution, and that solution has to be in the interval between negative 90 degrees and positive 90 degrees. So I need to be somewhere either in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. So now I need to get my calculator. Here's my calculator. It's a TI-84+. plus. The first thing I need to do is make sure it's in degrees. So I hit mode. Notice right now it's in radians since that is highlighted. So I need to scroll down, scroll over to degrees, and then hit enter. Degrees is highlighted, so now I need to quit. So hit second mode. So now I need to find the inverse tangent function. It is up here in blue above the tangent key, so I have to hit second tangent. That gives me the inverse tangent function. It opens the parentheses, so now I just need to put in 4 divided by 5, close parentheses, and hit enter. And here's my answer. And remember, I need to round it to the nearest tenth of a degree. That's the position of the 6. The 5 is going to round this 6 up. So my answer, theta, is going to equal 38.7 degrees. And that is one solution to this equation. Now this angle here is in quadrant 1. So if I drew it in, it would look something like this. So this is my 38.7 degrees, this angle right there, rotating in a positive direction. But are there any other quadrants in which the tangent of theta could equal positive 4 fifths? Well, remember, the tangent of theta is y over x. And for the tangent of theta to be positive, we know that x and y are going to have to have the same sign. So that is true in quadrant 1 when both x and y are positive, but it's also true in quadrant 3 down here where x and y are both negative. Now I've already found the answer in quadrant 1, I need to find the answer in quadrant 3, and to do that I'm going to use reference angles. But initially I need to draw my angle down here in quadrant 3. So here's my angle in quadrant 3, I'm going to call it theta sub 2, and remember the reference angle is the acute angle the terminal side makes with the x-axis. So this is the reference angle theta prime for my angle in quadrant 3. Now the reference angle for this angle in quadrant 3 equals the reference angle for the angle in quadrant 1, 
And remember, an angle in quadrant one is equal to its reference angle. These two reference angles are equal, so I know my reference angle equals 38.7 degrees. Now, looking at this picture, how am I going to find the value of theta sub 2? Well, it's 180 degrees plus my reference angle. So it's 180 degrees plus 38.7 degrees. So my second solution equals 218.7 degrees. So now, how can I check this answer? I can use my calculator and I can find the tangent of this answer and it should be approximately four fifths. So the tangent of 218.7 degrees equals 0 0.80115, etc. And what does four fifths equal? Well, four divided by five is 0 0.8. Are these approximately the same? Yes, they're not going to be identical because I rounded this answer. But this is a great confirmation you've got this problem correct. So this problem here had two solutions in the interval 0 to 360 degrees, and they are 38.7 degrees in quadrant 1 and 218.7 degrees in quadrant 3.